the blood going? I know what you're thinking. She's got the body of a 30-year-old, but a face like a scrotum that got left out in the sun. But whether you believe it or not, you're looking at the best shooter in what's left of this miserable planet. You can call me Nana. If you're here looking for a partner to teach those no-good highwaymen a lesson, then I'm interested. Oh, but you don't get my help for free. I set up a shooting range out here to keep my skills sharp. Show me what you're made of. Impress me, and I'll tag along while you teach these masked whippersnappers a thing or two. Air. I'll be tied up in a tree and left for the bears. You're a damn good shot. But I got something for you only I could crack. You climb up that silo and wipe your feet, mind you, and get a better vantage nice and high. I'll send up some balloons as targets. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the squeaky wheels I had to grease for the helium gas. Impress me and hit the balloons as they go up. In all the years since the dust went up, I'm the only one that's been able to get them all. mistake more than I expected and when there's too much spark oh that's how you get wildfires how about we try something trickier after all balloons and helmets don't shoot back now do they <laughs> oh try this one on for size
kiddo. You make me feel warm with hope for the future and all that. God, I admire them that can improvise in a tight spot. Oh, gracious! Half bad, kiddo. That's right, kiddo. As I said. Here's the meat of it. Cause courses is easy. Targets that don't scurry around are honey cake. Now, moving targets. Oh, loud, rude, hyper-violent, disrespectful hooligans. Those are some targets. You? Boy, you're sharp, quick-witted, and a lightning shot. Quite the combination to have in a respectful young person. I don't see it too often these dusty odd days. Everyone needs someone looking out for them out here. Even me, once in a blue moon. You consider me part of the family. I'll look after you, kiddo. Maybe I'll collect some more highwaymen skins for the quilt I'm making. <laughs> Ah, oh, you'll never know if I'm kidding.
That's what Pops always said. You in a rush, gotta learn. I'm not familiar. Like we've been down this road before? Oh. Relax. Stay a while. <laughs> Come on. You've been so good up to this point. Oh. Look at that. easy you can be to get along with? I wanted you to understand that. 
I wanted you to see that things could have ended differently if you just listened to us and went away. Instead, you chose the stick. Here it is. Spend all night wiping those hopes and dreams off my boots. <laughs> oh, you know, before you showed up, everything was fucking. <laughs> your fancy train and your fancy people trying to make this place into something that is and when we tried to be reasonable you thought it'd be a good idea to stir up the pot over and over and over because you thought there was a hope for your future there's no hope for you no future for any of you Michelle, Louise, I need you to listen to me. Why? You're not coming with us. I don't have a choice. Your father... Daddy says if you're not with us, you're against us. It's not that simple. Yes, it is. Gotta go, Mom. Dad's here. Michelle, you two need to take care of each other because your dad he won't he has a lot of big plans but everything he does ends in violence dad solves problems he creates them he leaves a trail of bodies behind him he doesn't care who gets hurt don't end up like him promise me you won't be like him I fucking hawked out like that? Everything was normal until they went up north. Maybe it's time we asked them freak some questions. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I got on that train. I'm sorry I brought you to Hope County. 
We'll always remember you. You took a risk for us, and it cost you your life. This is all my fault. Rush, I promise we'll make you proud. He was a good man. Selfless. And you... You did everything you could. Oh, those fucking twins are always a step ahead. We need another angle. I'm gonna go check on Carmina. When you want to hear what I have in mind, come talk to me. You were brave during the siege. We're all shaken up by the loss of Rush, but we can't let up. As much as I hated the idea of talking to Joseph, I have to admit that having New Eden attack the Highwaymen has given us a chance to blindside them. Didn't you meet some crazy little fucker named Irwin? If he's as close to the twins as he claims, he might be our way in. <laughs> 